we knew that stem cell research had the potential to completely revolutionize medicine and create an opportunity for understanding how people get sick and what we could do about it uh, to create new cures and therapies. But there was no vehicle to do it. Uh, the academic institutions um, were hamstrung by uh, a tremendous amount of um, political, uh, politically driven regulation, which still exists today, unfortunately. And so there really needed to be um, a center that was completely independent, that was able to be a center of expertise um, and also uh, to have independent funding that's absolutely essential to move the work forward. And so what we saw was a space that was a, um, a safe harbor lab, if you will, and where we could work with collaborators from institutions all over the country and all over the world, both people who are expert in uh, their particular disease field, people who were doing work in research in their diseases but were not experts in stem cell research, and create this extraordinary accelerator. One of the things uh, that is unique about the NICIF laboratory is that we have under one roof the expertise and the facilities to derive stem cell lines, to grow stem cells, all different kinds of stem cells, and keep them for an extended period of time and share them with others. We also have the ability to identify different kinds of diseases in a dish and grow cells from people who have Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease in very, very large quantities and compare those to the cells of people who don't have those diseases and that's going to help us understand why people get sick. Um, we also have the ability to uh, take those cells and once we understand uh, or we believe we have an idea of something that is going wrong in the conversation between the cells that's making someone sick, that we actually have a drug discovery center. And so we can do the screening on the drugs. And that really is a combination of what you would find in a traditional academic research laboratory and what you would find in a biotech company. Um, but we're a nonprofit. We have the most advanced technology possible. So we have robotics and liquid handlers and technology that can image cells and sort them by laser for different kinds of cells, make sure that they're absolutely pure. We've got incredible expertise and the related equipment to be able to create absolutely state-of-the-art stem cell lines. We're about to have next fall our sixth annual uh, translational stem cell research conference and uh, over the last five years it's become the leading uh, hardcore uh, translational stem cell research meeting of its kind and we go disease by disease and we talk about uh, the latest research that's being done and it's presented by the people who are absolutely the top in the field and within the laboratory we wanted to make sure that we had the expertise to cover what we call really the umbrella conditions. So um, autoimmune diseases such as diabetes, uh, multiple sclerosis, um, the neurological diseases such as uh, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, and ALS, um, the things that affect all of us as we age as well as uh, uh, trauma, injuries, uh, bone regeneration, and today we have that with incredible researchers uh, who have their own groups uh, at the NICIF lab. It's really extraordinary and actually we have been working so hard for the last five years that it was brought to my attention by someone else who said, you know, it's five years. I think when you get to the top of a mountain, um, what you see is, uh, is the mountain beyond. So I think that uh, we've done a really um, terrific job of executing on our five-year plan, uh, but now we have another five-year plan. And the first five years, I think, were a period of really trying to energize and stabilize the field. Uh, and I believe we actually have done that. I think we've played a huge role in it. And now, I think the next five years are really going to be a period of uh, harvesting uh, everything that we've sown. And I think that we're going to begin to see tremendous advances with a clinical impact uh, in a very short period of time.